So here's our regular brass kind of weeds that are on this side. And over here is the zoysia. As you can see, it's still really dormant. It's still cold out here. It was very cold. It was down in the 30s just a couple days ago. Now it's 62. So it, it spreads all over the place. We are having some problems with moles. They're in here, as you can see. I can push this down. So there's a mole in here, which isn't helping things any. But I haven't been able to uh, get rid of them yet. And if we walk along here, the one advantage we do have is that it does allow us to see where the weeds are. So if you get in here close, I get the cameraman in here, not too close, there we go. You can see the weeds are in here. So it does make it a lot easier to pull up a weed and get rid of it. And I'm not really getting good into the root there because it's green and it contrasts against the dormant zoya grass. And down here, you can see, we get in here close, this is where we were burning off some of this down by the pond. And we're not really trying to burn the zoya, but some of it caught on fire because it is quite dry. And you can see underneath here is green zoya. Look at that. So it's all ready to go. It's just got this top layer on it. If I pull this back, you can kind of see that underneath. So it's, it's ready to grow. And what we're going to want to do is get rid of this hay. Okay. And, and the best way probably to do that is going to be we're going to cut the lawn uh, short and uh, early and bag it to try to get rid of some of this dry stuff. We're not going to burn it off like we did here. Um, again, that was to burn this section off uh, down near the pond. Come this way. So if we look up here, again, there's still that uh, leftover piece of the snowman. So you can see, uh, when we rolled this, we, we did pick up a lot of Zoya dry clippings. And up here, you come this way, over there. Come here, you can see, again, weeds are sticking out really good. You can really see those. So when, when spring uh, pops here quite shortly, uh, we'll take another picture here. So you can see what happens as this starts to green up and we'll see how evenly it greens up and uh, see how it fills in. Okay, as a reference point, this is May 7th, 2013. That's the grass up on the hill. As I pull back, you can see where the zoysia, yeah, and I'm pronouncing it correctly, there's zoysia, is here. And it's doing really well. This is, uh, again, May 7th, so we have an early spring. Now, if you can look here in the video, you do see a bit of a purple hue to it. And if we get up here close, get you a piece here, you can see that's what's happening. If that'll focus there, uh, it, it's going to seed. Now, I didn't expect it really to seed. I didn't really read that much about that. Uh, Self-seeding. Uh, but I'm cutting this and the reason I'm doing this and not letting it just continue to seed is because It assumes that if you, if you have a hybrid grass, which is mixed with another grass It may or may not breed true and what I mean by that is that if you let it seed some of the seeds may go back and no longer be compadre zoya or but rather what was made What, what is made up compadre zoya? So you may get blotches and different types of zoya here. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. I called a couple zoysia places and they didn't really give me an answer. They didn't know either, which was surprising. Um, and probably because maybe they want to sell me some more seed. But the point being, you know, I really don't want to mix this. This is doing well. It will work on its runners. So that's all that's really important. Uh, coming around here, a place in the earlier videos, if you looked at one, two, three you'll see here this is a spot where we planted plugs and you can see these actually finally made it i mean it really took them quite a while to get established but these are all plugs that we put in last year but what is interesting is this is plugs and you can see the distance between them has not filled in they're sending out runners but it's just not quite there yet 
And if I look right over here, this is seed. Huge difference. Okay, walking through the grass, continuing here on May 7th. We can see there are a few spots up here that have gotten brown. That's from thankful for the dog coming out here. We try to keep the dog off of here because it will brown uh, the area. It will kill the zoya, zoysia because it gets uh, too much acid. Now, if you do get dog urine uh, on the zoysia, if you go out and spray it with water or even if you want to get a little more uh, intense about it, a little water with some uh, lime or even baking soda to that point, right on that spot, if you have an accident there or the dog gets in that area or you got a neighbor's dog that comes over, just spray it down. What that does is dilute the acid in the urine and will prevent that brown spot from appearing. If it does kill it though, uh, as you can see up here, it, it does really take it out. And the best thing is to do is again to lime it a little bit and as you can see the runners are already moving in here and starting to take over. They will fix that spot. So with zoysia, the nice thing is obviously you get, and here's a spot that's gone a little further. You see that's almost completely repaired. So in a short period of time, I mean, we're talking a few weeks to a month, depending on the size of the burn, if you will, uh, it will repair itself. Unlike other grasses, we're gonna have to go buy more. Here, these brown spots are actually caused by a mole, which we got that turkey, but uh, he's working his way through here and uh, terrorizing the lawn. And unfortunately, uh, when he does that, he uh, gets underneath the roots, exposes the roots to air, and that's what's killing the zoysia here. But if you look at it from an angle here, you can see most of this still looks good, quite nice, even though we've had a couple little setbacks, and I really call these little. I mean, we're dealing with nature things here, we're dealing with the dog, we're not dealing with anything we did planting-wise that actually affected anything. Matter of fact, if it wasn't for the mole and the dog, uh, we'd have a perfect lawn at this point. But it's still quite uh, successful. Again, if we look up here, comparing it to the hill up here, which is not treated with that. That was just treated with regular bluegrass or whatever they put down at the time. It just can't take it. But here the mole is through. So we'll update you when we cut this so you can get another idea how it looks. And uh, that'll probably be in a couple days. And then we'll post this video up here because a lot of people have been asking me, hey, what happened the next year? How's the lawn look? Well, we want to show you. Here's another observation on the uh, zoysia, which the dog is helping out with, the border collie. Um, the, where we have some drains, uh, we, we've trimmed this back a bit, though, so that's not naturally brown. It's actually pretty green. But as you can see, this comes down here where these drains are. The grass is really, really green. Okay, and it's a classic thing where there's a drain, there's a nice uh, green spot. Uh, no different with the zoysia here. Uh, this seems like the more water it's getting, the happier it is. But I've, I've read a lot about don't overwater the zoya, zoysia because it will uh, basically uh, rot at the, at the root level. So you don't want to do that. So I'm just backing up here, giving you a full idea of the lawn. Again, thank you for a lot of you writing in, asking how it's doing. Uh, after year two, the first year being seeding, and how quickly this took. And again, here, I'll let you just take a look at the density of this uh, compared to plugging. You know, it's, it is an amazing difference. Uh, you basically get a full lawn. Within that first year, you've got a full lawn. It's completely done. And it's nice, beautiful. And again, I'll, I'll give you that comparison up here one more time. You see how that's just on that hill dying. It's brown, it's mixed, it's weeds, a little bit of everything. And backing up all the way here. So there it is. Mark in uh, Maryland <clears throat> with Zoysia. And uh, year two, we're now at uh, May. 14th and you can see it's beautiful so I encourage you to give seeds a try remember it is an expensive venture some of you have asked uh, how much uh, mulch and stuff I used underneath here and things like that and the different uh, if you go back to the first tape 
or the first uh, YouTube uh, video, you'll actually see that it was a very thin layer, and that's all I can really tell you. You just kind of got to mix it together, and it just has to be enough the seed can get started, get going before it hits that clay soil. So, you know, a half an inch, a quarter of an inch would probably do, but, uh, you know, if you can give a little bit more and then compress it down with a compressor, uh, you know, that would be good, a lawn roller. Uh, you know with the seed in there it's gonna be nice and compact and retain the water and everything needed but you can see once this got going these roots are obviously a lot deeper now they've gone past that stage they've had a chance to get started and if you look here right at the edge of where we stopped seeding right here you can see where these runners are quite long I mean some of these things are uh, maybe even a foot long already uh, they're spreading so they're doing a great job filling in the gaps Again, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you put your comments up here on YouTube of your own success with Zoysia, and especially Compadre Zoysia, the one I used here. Remember, it greened up a lot faster than other Zoysias in the neighborhood. By about a month, it was already green. Uh, we got colder, it withstood that. Uh, I really rank the Compadre Zoya as, as really good comparing it to the older styles uh, that are out there, especially the plug variety uh, that are out there. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you want it a little greener a little sooner and be a little more resistance to the cold, Compadre Zoya, although hard to find, seed looks like it does really well.